Hello everyone, my name is Pons de Mayoi, and we're back for another edition of Pons de Mayoi's Personal Best Opinions on Pokemon. And this edition will be about the Nidoran female evolution line, be Nidoran female, Nidorina, and Nino Queen. So anyway, let's get right on to the moves for Nidorina. Not Nidorina. Well, actually, I was going to explain. <laughs> Nidoran female Nidorina has pretty much the same exact setup, so it'll be for both Nidoran female and Nidorina. So... The moves for both of them, uh, for Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, we've got first of all Bite. Now Bite is a 60 power, 100 accuracy, um, dark type move. In older generations it was a special attack, don't ask me why, that makes no sense that it is, but in later generations they pretty much fixed the logic, it's a physical type move in later generations. But anyway, uh, the main effect that always has been with it is that there's a 30% chance you'll flinch the opponent whenever you use this move on them, which Flinching could be very good because when you flinch an opponent, or when you get flinched, you can't do anything for that turn. You can't do any of the moves that you wanted to do that turn, so it could be very helpful. Then on to Double Kick. Double Kick is a 30 power, 100 accuracy, fighting type move, physical type move. Um, and it uh, doesn't sound very powerful at first, but it's actually pretty sweet because as it says in the name, Double Kick, it's a special effect it hits twice, so... It can be very helpful. Then on to Poison Sting. Poison Sting is a 15 power, 100 accuracy, physical poison type move. And this has a 10% chance to poison so, uh, to poison the opponent, the target, whoever you use this move on. So it's pretty sweet. Then we got Scratch. Scratch is a 40 power, 100 accuracy, normal physical type move. No special abilities here. It's pretty much one of the basic moves in Pokemon. Then on to... Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. Now, instead of um, Bite and Scratch, we actually have, first of all, Crunch, an upgrade to Bite, pretty much. So Crunch is an 80 power, 100 accuracy, physical dark type move, and pretty powerful already, but the special effect is that there's a 10% chance you'll loger, you, you'll loger? Oh my god. <laughs> I was going to say, you'll lower the the whoever used it on their defense by one, so it could be sweet. Loger, I don't, I don't even know where my brain was when I said that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then the other move is Flatter. Now Flatter is a hundred percent accuracy, uh, status dark type move, and pretty much this can be really helpful uh, as long as you know your opponent isn't going to use any special attacks, or if you want to take the risk. What pretty much it does is when you use it, um, well, whoever you use it on. It pretty much, you can't raise it, you can't use it on yourself, just letting you know. Um, but anyway, you can use it, and then um, it'll confuse whoever you, you use it on, but it also raises a special attack uh, sharply, which means by two. So it can be really bad for you or really good for you. It depends, because, um, yeah. So anyways, it's just a risky move if you want to use it. Uh, but anyways, uh, then we got Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, Black, two, Black, White, Black, Two, White, Two, X, Y, Omega, Ruby, and Alpha, Sapphire, Sun, Moon, and Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. Okay, the thing that's different here is that instead of Poison Sting, you actually have Poison, poison Fang. Now this is a pretty sweet one. Uh, it's 50 power, 100 accuracy. A uh, physical bite, not, well, it's a biting move, but I mean physical poison type move. Um, pretty sweet already, but the ability from it is, I believe it's 30%, or maybe it's 10%. It's, I, I think it's 30%. Uh, but anyways, there's a percent, there's a chance that it will badly poison the opponent. Now, what badly poisoned and normal poison, the difference is, if you don't know, a uh, normal poison is just, it, it takes a little bit of your health each turn. Uh, of, your, of, their, of your maximum health, of course. Um, and uh, Badly Poison is pretty much its original, like the move it came from, is the move Toxic. Because um, when you use that, it'll instantly do that. But with this, of course, Poison Fang, it just has a chance to Badly Poison. But anyways, Badly Poison is like, uh, each turn it'll get worse, and it can get up to like, I want to say 50% of maximum health. Uh, each turn it'll take away, so if it stacks up enough, it'll do it. But um, you can also, like, there's a strategy to the whole badly poison thing, because when you switch out and switch back in, you'll still be poisoned, but you won't be badly poisoned anymore. It's just going to be normal poison, so 
if you're able to do that strategy on opponent, hopefully they don't switch out or anything, because if they do, it's just going to be normal poison, which is still not that bad. But anyway, then on to Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Um, the only things different here is instead of Poison Fang and Flatter, there is Super Fang and Toxic. So Toxic, I, you already know what that is. So I literally just told you, but I might as well tell you the accuracy and stuff. So it's 85 accuracy. It's a poison uh, status type move. And of course, like I said before, it badly poisons the opponent. And then on to Super Fang. Super Fang is a pretty sweet move. It's a 90 accuracy special... Um, it also could be considered an attack as well, of course. So can Toxic, obviously. Um, but anyways, uh, it has no power, of course, like I said, because it's a status move. But, um, oh, did I say normal already? It's a normal type as well. But anyways, um, pretty much what's really sweet about this is every time you use this on an opponent, it'll half their max, their uh, current health. So it can be very helpful for taking down very tanky Pokemon. Okay, and then on to the held items. So the held item... Wait a second. Oh, I was like, what the heck happened? The held item for Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal uh, would be the Pink Bow. Now, the Pink Bow is a, a thing that when your Pokemon holds it, it'll raise the power of the normal type moves by 10%. That's mainly for that scratch. So anyways, then on to Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald got the black belt. Now the black belt raises the power of fighting type moves by 10%, so that's going to be helpful for the double kick. Then on to fire red and leaf green, uh, the black glasses. The black glasses power ups, powers up dark type moves by 10%, so it'll be good for the uh, the bite slash, I think crunch was just in, I don't know. It's whatever, dark type moves to mainly power it up. Anyway, then on to Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Black White, Black 2, White 2, XY, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. So first of all, for offline, you want the Life Orb. Now the Life Orb is pretty sweet, but it also comes at a price. So it powers up all your attacks, special and physical, by 30%, but ev um, all your attacks will also make you take recoil damage. So um, I would say about 25% of the health... Uh, be taken from your health depending on how much damage you do to a Pokemon so be careful with that because with power comes risk with this life orb so anyways for online um, right away I'm gonna tell you before I tell you about the item I know you can already see it but I'm gonna tell you how items work online so if an item like say a berry or something or an item that you would um, your Pokemon would like consume or use up um, in a battle in online battles, when you're done, um, you'll get it right back after the battle's done. So if you ever wanted to have those strategies and just not have to we keep grinding for the same item over and over again because you used it up, then definitely on battle, online battles would be the way to go for you. But anyways, the Focus Ash is so great. It's because um, if Pokemon is holding this and they're at full health, uh, even if they would have got one-shotted, they would live at one health every time because of the Focus Ash. Of course, the Focus Ash would be used up. Um, but there's strategies to like get it back and get your health back if you really are like tanky. Um, but anyway, it's always good because as long as you don't get flinched or miss your move, you'll always get at least one move out on all your Pokemon. So it gives all your Pokemon a fair shot, just in case you might most likely get sweet by someone. But anyways, then on to the move, not the moves, the held item for Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. So for offline, you want the Phytanium Z. Now, this is mainly for the, um, this is mainly for Double Kick, and then for, I'll explain on Nido Queen is going to be a different, uh, move. But anyways, so, Phytanium Z is mainly, you know, this power of the fighting type move, pretty sweet. Same with online, um, I mean, the same item online, it would be the Focus Sash. And then for Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee, doesn't have any. So anyway, the abilities, um, I'll talk about the abilities afterwards on the Pokemon. Uh, I'll move on to Nidoqueen now. So for Nidoqueen, um, pretty much the same stuff until, uh, let's see, I believe it's Diamond Pearl. Oh. Oh wait, I guess that would be different, okay. So, um, so the moves that are different... 
um, in diamond, pearl, platinum, heart, gold, silver, silver, black, white, black 2, white 2, X, Y, omega, ruby, alpha, sapphire, sun, moon, and ultra sun, and ultra moon. So pretty much, um, instead of poison fang, uh, because you'll, if you don't know, you have to evolve uh, to get Nido Queen, you have to use the Moonstone in Need Arena. But there's also like many moves you might miss, so uh, you gotta be careful about what you learn and stuff. You gotta like what levels to hold them back to prevent them from evolving and all that stuff. You'll have to look that up, but I'll, I'll tell you the move set. So you can see it already, but the one that's different instead of Poison Fang is the move Earth Power. Now Earth Power is pretty sweet. So it's a 90 power, 100 accuracy, uh, special ground type move, and it's pretty powerful already, but it has a 10% chance to lower the uh, special defense of whoever you use it on, so it's pretty sweet. And then on to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. So the one that's different instead of here, instead of Double Kick, <laughs> you want Super Power. Now this is a very powerful fighting type move. This is a 120 power, 100 accuracy, physical fighting type move. The only bad thing about this is Every time you use this move, your defense and attack will lower. So this is kind of like a last dish move, really, to use, but it's very powerful, like I said. So anyway, the held items are pretty much the same until it comes to... Actually, no, it is just the same. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, then on to the abilities. So the abilities for Nita... Uh, I'll, I'll explain that one other ability that I didn't use on them. Um, so... Let's start out with uh, Nidoran Female and Nidorina. So the, the abilities I picked for them is Rivalry. Now Rivalry is pretty sweet is because uh, if you're the same gender of a Pokemon you're fighting, your power will be boosted by 50%. So it's pretty sweet. Um, and then the other ability would be Poison Point to where sometimes the opponent would be poisoned if they touch you. I don't think it's if you make physical damage with them. I think it's only if they make like a physical